this is Re here. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate everyone. All thanks to Kali Ma. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. It really helps me a lot. Don't forget to check out my website, paradoxastrology.com. Book your consultation today. I can help you with anything. And if you would like more exclusive occult videos that I don't post on YouTube, consider subscribing to my Patreon. It also helps to support this channel. Okay, let's get into this video. Now, this is about enlightenment and initiation. Now, every secret society in the world uses this type of initiation, which is a death, where your old persona dies and you are reborn into a new version of yourself. This actually mimics the effects of Kundalini, of the Kundalini rising and falling and then rising up again. This mimics the ego death, which a person goes through when their kundalini rises. A real secret society, there are a lot that are just using people, but ancient times, the real secret societies were illuminating people and they had to go through these type of rituals. And it wasn't just a metaphor, it was real. If you go through a kundalini awakening, this is also what happens to you, that you have to go through this type of ego death. And I'm telling you this so that you understand that if you are going through something that seems so horrific, what it's doing is it's getting you prepared for the next step. This will happen to people who aren't in secret societies. This is what life is. Life is trying to put you through a lot of things so that your old self dies and you're reborn into this enlightened being. So the stories that they talk about that are representations of this process are the story of the monster, the ocean monster, which could be like the symbol of a whale. There's a lot of movies about this, like Moby Dick, for example, is actually a movie about initiation, someone dying and being reborn. It's called the hero story. So what happens within that is you're swimming in the ocean and you get swallowed up by the whale. The whale is a representation of the womb the womb of the mother. The womb of the mother can give birth to you or it can swallow you up and kill you. This is a metaphorical representation of that. So what will happen is he gets swallowed or she gets swallowed by the whale and then now has to find a way to survive, has to find a way out or else you're going to die. So it's about becoming that hero and being able to cut yourself out of the belly of the beast and be reborn again as the hero who saved. And sometimes the hero can find himself in the belly of the beast and find his family there as well. His family still alive and he has to save his family as well as himself. So he becomes the hero. Then when he does that, then he becomes enlightened. He gets to face a fear about facing death and being able to triumph. When you do that, then you have reached a level of initiation and you pass that initiation and you can be reborn. This happens to everyone. I'm going to give you an example of what happened to me. I've had a few awakenings in my life. So when the Kundalini starts to rise, it's not just one event. You're going to have multiple events. When people say that their Kundalini rise, they'll say that they went through some things and that they were in another dimension and timelessness. Now they could see beyond the veil and things like that. Yes, definitely those things happen, but there is a crack and a lot of people don't talk about that crash. If you haven't experienced that crash, then you haven't experienced the full awakening yet and that will come. There's different levels to this. The crash happens when you're going to have to face a life or death situation and it's going to be very difficult or you're going to have to face a situation where you're going to have to lose everything everything you've ever built in your life, everything you ever were, you're going to have to give that up. When you awaken to who you truly are, you can't bring your old self with you. So when people say they awaken and their life is the same and they didn't change anything, that's not an awakening. That's the ego messing with you. You could get some city like clairvoyance or some supernatural powers can come, but that's not awakening. Cities don't matter. Supernatural powers don't matter. What we do is we ignore those and we keep going towards our path. So when you're going through this, you're going to have to have an ego death. And that's where you give up everything that you ever were. It's going to be extremely scary. Some people have life-threatening situations and you wonder because you're like, well, I was doing all this spiritual practice or I was becoming awakened and I was getting these cities and 
supernatural powers, why am I now in a worse situation than before I started doing my spiritual work? It's because now you have to face your karma. You have to face everything if you want to be enlightened. And the only way to dissolve that karma, sometimes there are ways to dissolve karma in other ways, but some karma that's fixed, you're going to have to face it. You're going to have to be in the belly of the beast and you're going to have to face your life or death situation. And if you're in that spot, keep going. But most people give up. That's the thing. Most people give up and say it's too hard. They make sure that they give up in so many ways or they stay in negative stance and get into victimhood and they lose that opportunity. So if you're going through something very difficult, you have to understand that on the other side, you're going to be reborn. An example for me is that I was doing all my spiritual practices. That was like a second awakening, doing my spiritual practices. And then I end up meeting someone out of nowhere. Then I ended up human trafficked for roughly six years on and off. I had to face death because one of the people literally tried to kill me every single day, getting beat every day, all these things. I had to face death. And the weirdest thing is I used to call him a monster, which is the representation of what you're supposed to face. You're supposed to face the demons. You're supposed to face the devil and you're supposed to battle the devil and win. If you win and you get out of that situation, you become enlightened. I'm not saying I'm enlightened by any means. I am still not enlightened, but I am on my way of progressing spiritually. I am a completely different person than I was before because of this situation. After I got away from this person, my brain shifted. The power started to come. The Kundalini started to rise again. It was my initiation. So when you go through these dark periods, you're going to be reborn. And I was reborn. But as you become reborn, you're going to have to let go of everything you used to be. I used to be in the music industry. That's all I ever wanted to be was an artist. I was a published model. I was an actor. And that's all I wanted to be. It was in entertainment. All I ever defined myself as. My ego was so attached to this thing. I had to completely let that go. I had to get rid of all my friends. I had to move. I had to sell everything I've ever had. All of this had to happen because you wake up and you realize that you've been living a false reality. Your ego constructed something, constructed this false persona of who it thought you were. When you you dissolve the ego you realize who you truly are and it's very terrifying it's a dark night of the soul it's very very terrifying and you have to give it up you have to go down to nothing again and you have to restart over with everything in your life and if you're at that point then you have the ability to be enlightened you have the ability to be spiritually inclined you just have to stay there and thank God just thank God and trust the process trust what's happening because it's going to lead you on the other side. Don't stay in victimhood. Don't stay clenching on to the old things and trying to bring them with you. Get rid of it. Get rid of your ego. Stop thinking about what are people gonna think. Now I have no money. Now I have no this, no that. Get rid of that. It does not matter. You're gonna realize later that these possessions, that the money is nothing. It's nothing. Everything you thought you were, your job, your career, your personality was all false. Who you truly are is within. It has nothing to do with any of those things. The way you're going to realize that is if the universe and God and Mahadev pulls this away from you and rips it out of you. That's the only way you're going to learn. But once you learn, new things come in. Don't worry. New things that resonate with who you truly are come in because you fought the beast that you won, right? So you have to have bravery. It wants to see how brave you are. And then you're going to have ultimate knowledge is going to come then you're going to have ultimate peace you're going to have love you're going to have compassion after that but you have to get over that spot and a lot of people stay in that spot that i've noticed they realize how terrible the world really is because they realize that most people are an ego because they were an ego and then now they resent the world and they want to go hide from the world because they're like everyone's so evil and that's the ego. Ego is making that up now because now the ego is still in control because the ego is saying, look how horrible these people are and I'm not. And that's ego. Okay. You were that too. The ego is only looking at the negative. It's not realizing that yes, it's good to awaken and realize that there is darkness in the world running the world. Yes. But we don't stay there. There's also infinite abundance, infinite compassion and infinite love available to you now don't stay in there you're going to be there for a little bit but then the awakening will come and then that will be replaced by compassion and love and not egotistical love 
real love, real self-love and real love for the world, not of I love everybody. You don't have to love everybody. You're going to love their God self. You don't have to love their ego self. And that's a whole different thing. So just remember that the enlightenment comes, the initiation. Just remember, I'm going through an initiation. And this will make me a better person, a better version. And this will lead me to who I truly am. The sun is your soul. That's who you truly are. But Saturn keeps the sun down because Saturn is trying to anchor us to karma, to get rid of karma. And remember, Saturn is the son of the sun. To get rid of that karma, we must face it. We have to face it. And once we face it and we defeat it, which is defeating our own ego, then we can thrive and find out who we truly are in life. So that's just a little bit about that. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.